so after discussing about how to create a regular expression for valid tokens of a given language uh, let us now go to the step 2 of lexical analyzer design that is we have to create a non deterministic finite automata from a given regular expression okay so ndfa uh, you must have learned in your automata theory course that it is a kind of finite state automata where from a given state i can have multiple transitions for a given symbol okay or it can have empty transitions also that means without consuming any symbol i may do a state transition okay that is called as a ndfa any more details about ndfa we have our video lectures and you can go through that okay now now the main concern is here from a given regular expression how we need to create a ndfa okay so i can say every letter of a alphabet every letter a suppose which belongs to alphabet how to create a ndfa for it okay so for a for a single letter the finite state automata looks somewhat like this so you are in a state starting state is zero and you consume a and you go to the final state okay so and since a also represent a regular expression i can always convert that regular expression to create a ndfa so this is a small example so let us now try to see a bigger example like suppose i have a regular expression which is a or b followed by c that means either the string can be ac or bc okay input string can be ac or bc so how will you do that mm. so we start with the each uh, letter suppose for a i have a state s0 and i go to s1 okay i am not marking it as a final state because i am in the process intermediate process now because i have to create the entire finite state automata for the for the entire regular expression okay now i have i am in s2 i consume i consume b and i go to suppose state s3 okay and for the small letter uh, for the letter c i am in suppose s4 okay i consume c and i go to s5 okay now how to combine them now okay now i can have a starting state suppose s6 okay from where i can do an empty transition to s0 and s3 okay so if i am in s0 and i consume a then i go to s1 if i am in s2 and i consume b i go to s3 okay and then from s1 and s3 i can again make an empty transition to reach at what we call as s7 okay now from s7 i can again make an empty transition to reach at s4 and from s4 i consume c and go to s5 okay from s5 I can mark S5 as a uh, final state. Okay, so this is the entire non-deterministic finite automata for this regular expression. Understood? So how I started? I started by creating NDFA for every letter. Okay. Now if it is an union operator, then I just uh, created a an extra starting state and do an empty transition to the respective starting state of the letters okay and then also i made an extra state at the finishing state and i create an empty transition from the finishing state of the respective letters okay then i go to i make an empty transition to consume c okay so so if you have if you have a b as a regular expression 
that means concatenation is represented like this so you have a here you have b here so ab will be nothing but it will do an empty transition from the final state of a okay to this uh, state s2 and then it will consume b and s3 will be the final state so this way concatenation is represented okay this way uh, so i have i have mixed both concatenation as well as union so this is the union part this is the concatenation part as a quiz i will i will uh, ask you uh, so you please try how to create a nfa for a plus b star okay so and uh, if any doubt let me know in the next class